Indira Gandhi known as Iron Lady of India, had proven during her term as India's Prime Minister that she has more guts and courage than most of the men who preceded her. Indira Gandhi was born on November 19, 1917, in Allahabad, British India. Indira Nehru was the only child of Jawaharlal Nehru, who was one of the chief figures in India's struggle to achieve independence from Britain, was a top leader of the powerful and long-dominant Indian National Congress, and was the first Prime Minister of Independent India. Indira went to Britain in 1937, where she enrolled at Somerville College, Oxford, but never completed her degree. Indira Gandhi married Faraz Gandhi who was one of the student in college at London. In 1955, she became a member of the Congress Party's Working Committee, within four years, she would be president of that body. Indira's father also died in 1964 and was succeeded as Prime Minister by Lal Bahadur Shastri. Shastri appointed Indira Gandhi his Minister of Information and Broadcasting, in addition, she was a member of the Upper House of Parliament, the Rajya Sabha. In 1966, Prime Minister Shastri died unexpectedly. Indira Gandhi was named the new Prime Minister. As a compromise candidate, politicians on both sides of a deepening divide within the Congress party hoped to be able to control her. They had completely underestimated Nehru's daughter. In 1967 general elections, Congress party's magic started vanishing due to the widespread disenchantment over the rising prices of commodities, unemployment, economic stagnation, and a food crisis. For the first time, Congress lost in the majority of states. Despite this, Indira Gandhi managed to win from the constituency and promised to devalue the rupee. In 1969, she faced differences due to her socialist policies. She supported independent candidate V.V. Giri for the vacant post of President of India, rather than supporting the official Congress party candidate Neelam Sanjivaredi. Tensions grew. Within the party, however, and in 1969 she was expelled from it by Desai and other members of the old guard. Indira Gandhi, joined by a majority of party members, formed a new faction around her called the New Congress Party. In the 1971 Lok Sabha elections the New Congress group won a sweeping electoral victory over a coalition of conservative parties. In 1975, the High Court of Allahabad found her guilty of dishonest election practices, excessive election expenditure, and of using government machinery and officials for party purposes. The court ordered her to strip off her parliamentary seat and banned her from running the office for the next six years. However, Indira Gandhi refused to resign and announced to move to the Supreme Court. As soon as the news of Allahabad's High Court verdict spread, thousands of supporters demonstrated outside Indira's house and pledged their loyalty. Taking matters into her own hands, she declared a state of emergency throughout India, imprisoned her political opponents, and assumed emergency powers. Many new laws were enacted that limited personal freedoms. During that period she also implemented several unpopular policies, including large-scale sterilization as a form of birth control. Indira's younger son Sanjay led a move to clear the slums around Delhi, hundreds of people were killed and thousands left homeless when their homes were destroyed. In a key miscalculation, Indira Gandhi called new elections in March 1977. She may have begun to believe her own propaganda,
convincing herself that the people of India loved her and approved of her actions during the year's long state of emergency. Her party was trounced at the polls by the Janata Party, which cast the election as a choice between democracy or dictatorship, and Indira left office. In October of 1977, Indira Gandhi was jailed briefly for official corruption. Despite those setbacks, she won a new seat in the Lok Sabha in November 1978, and her Congress party began to gather strength. By 1980, the people of India had enough of the ineffectual Janata Party. They re-elected Indira Gandhi's Congress party under the slogan of stability. Indira took power again for her fourth term as Prime Minister. However, her triumph was dampened by the death of her son Sanjay, the heir apparent, in a plane crash in June of that year. During the early 1980s Indira Gandhi was faced with threats to the political integrity of India. Several states sought a larger measure of independence from the central government, and Sikh separatists in Punjab state used violence to assert their demands for an autonomous state. In 1982 a large number of Sikhs, led by Sant Jarnail Singh Bindranwale, occupied and fortified the Harmandir Sahib complex at Amritsar, the Sikhs' holiest shrine. Indira Gandhi decided to send the Indian army on a frontal assault of the building to capture or kill Bindranwale. In preparation for the attack, all electricity and lines of communication to Punjab were cut off. On June 3, the army surrounded the temple complex with military vehicles and tanks. In the early morning hours of June 5, they launched the attack. According to official Indian government numbers, 492 civilians were killed, including women and children, along with 83 Indian Army personnel. Other estimates from hospital workers and eyewitnesses state that more than 2,000 civilians died in the bloodbath. In the aftermath of Operation Blue Star, a number of Sikh soldiers resigned from the Indian Army. In some areas, there were actual battles between those resigning and those still loyal to the Army. On October 31, 1984, Indira Gandhi walked out to the garden behind her official residence for an interview with a British journalist. As she passed two of her Sikh bodyguards, they drew their service weapons and opened fire. Indira Gandhi died that afternoon after undergoing surgery. Indira clearly loved her country and did leave it in a stronger position relative to neighboring countries. She sought to improve the lives of India's poorest and supported industrialization and technological development. She is also known for bringing about many crucial economical reforms like nationalization of banks. Indira's courageous acts in political career made her a fiercest leader in Indian political history.